In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Vimeo videos to your e-learning. Okay, let's get started here. So I got a message from one of the viewers, uh, Jader Baron. He asks, hello, a question like I can embed a video on Vimeo, this to a slide captivate. I'm guessing that there was probably uh, a translation from another language there. So it's a little jumbled up, but I think what Jader is asking is, how can I embed a video from the Vimeo website to a slide in Captivate. Well, unfortunately, there isn't an opportunity to use the learning interaction uh, like the one for the YouTube channel. Um, if I bring that up, you'll be able to see uh, exactly what I'm talking about. And I have another video on how to work with the YouTube uh, learning interaction. But uh, just briefly, I'll just show you that if you select the uh, YouTube um, learning interaction here, you can actually embed a YouTube video into your course so that your users can watch the video and then proceed with the rest of their learning. Um, can't do that because obviously you would need a, a widget designed specifically for uh, Vimeo and there isn't one. But there is an alternative. In fact, if uh, this should be a relatively short video because um, it's very straightforward. What you're going to need is you're going to need uh, a video from the uh, Vimeo website. And I've just randomly picked this free video here. Uh, it looks like something to do with Mexico. That's one of my favorite topics. And um, what you want to capture from this is the embed code. So if you click on the icon for sharing this video and you'll see that there are uh, a couple of options available to you. But what you want to do is you want to check out this embed code down here. It's an iframe. And we're just going to select that and copy all of that stuff. That's all we really need. Let's minimize this this browser window and return to Adobe Captivate. And this is the simplest thing to do. Uh, just simply choose the objects drop down icon from your toolbar and select web. And this will place a web object on the screen. And we're just going to change this web object. Um, a couple of things you want to make sure, of course, uh, probably rest of slide is a good choice. You don't want it to disappear partway through. But instead of going to a web address, we're going to insert in that embed code. And I'm just going to paste that in as is. Nothing to, to really change there. And because the embed code doesn't show the whole website for the, uh, for the Vimeo website, it's just going to show the video. This should work perfectly. And of course, you could resize this. Uh, let me just... There it is. So now I can actually resize this to fill my screen. And um, we can uncheck scrolling. We won't need that. You can maybe include a loading animation as well. So let's just preview this, see if that works OK. So we'll just do uh, uh, in browser. We'll just do HTML5 in browser just to see how that looks. So it looks pretty good to me. Uh, we can, of course, now play this video. And there it is, someone's vacation video, I think. So that works out really well. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm doing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.